Let's examine a next titration problem. We're being asked to calculate the pH in the solution formed by adding 10 milliliters of a 0,5 molar sodium hydroxide, note to self, that's a strong base, and 40 mils of a 0 0.025 molar benzoic acid. And seeing that they've provided us with a Ka, I'm seeing benzoic acid is not one of our seven strong, therefore it must be weak and set up in equilibrium. Here we are titrating a weak acid with a strong base. Right away, my mind thinks hydrolysis, and I need the Henderson-Hasselbalch to determine pH. Let's begin first by considering the stoichiometry. The base we are adding is sodium hydroxide, NaOH. I'm not even sure of benzoic acid formula, let's say, so I can simply write that as HA, where HA can represent any monoprotic weak acid. The pattern of change is a double displacement where we set up sodium benzoate, but I'll simply write that as NaA and H2O. We realize that the sodium, of course, as parent is strong and will not hydrolyze, but since the anion called benzoate from benzoic acid, the weak acid conjugate base pair sets up a buffer partnership that this A negative will hydrolyze. Benzoate is the conjugate base of benzoic acid. That partnership sets up a buffered system and you'll start to see the pH resist change. So we see a strong base with a weak acid, stoichiometry first, followed by the Henderson-Hasselbalch. Let's consider what we know. If we have 10 milliliters of a 0 0.05 molar base, and 0 0.025 molar benzoic acid. And we're placing in 40 mils of the acid into that. So we have a volume and molarity of both the acid and the base. Let's hit molarity times liter and find the number of moles of each of our ingredients, the acid and the base, to determine if we indeed have a limiting and excess reagent. So. I will hit 0 0.05 molar times 0 0.01 liter, and I find 0 0.0005 moles of the NaOH, 5 times 10 to the negative fourth, or 0 0.0005 moles. We'll do the same strategy for the acid. 0 0.025 molar times the volume in a liter, 0 0.04, and that is 0 0.001 moles of acid. Thinking in terms of millimoles, we have 5 moles to 10 moles is what that looks like in the term millimoles. Definitely, the limiting reagent looks like the base, NaOH, and the excess acid will be determined in the Henderson-Hasselbalch. So here's what we know then. In the one-to-one -one ratio, the limiting reagent gets consumed, and there are zero moles of the base left after the titration. Along the way, it consumed 0 0.0005 moles of the acid. 10 minus 5 leaves us with 0 0.0005 moles of HA remaining in solution, not yet neutralized. But now also, since the salt that was produced hydrolyzes, it is the conjugate base of a weak acid, it will indeed affect the pH of our solution. Knowing at the beginning of our experiment there were zero moles of the salt, but the limiting reagent will also produce 0 0.0005 moles of the acetate, or excuse me, the benzoate ion. So 0 0.0005 moles of the benzoate anion have been produced. So here's what we know. The strong base will not affect the pH. It's gone. The limiting reagent completely consumed. But I do have two ingredients, the HA, the acid, and the conjugate base, the benzoate, and both are equivalent values. So if we consider the Henderson-Hasselbalch, we can find the pH by taking the negative log of the P, or it's pKa, negative log of the Ka provided for us or using Appendix D. 
negative log of 6.3 times 10 to the negative fifth plus the log of the ratio of base over acid. Now what's happened here, we have the same number of moles of the base as we do the acid. 0 0.0005 moles of our base and 0 0.0005 moles of our acid. Remember, since the acid and its conjugate base are in equal volumes, we do not necessarily have to convert to a molarity unit. We had checked that in just the previous example, and we determined that we get the same answer if we put moles or we put big M, molarity. When 0005 is placed over itself, that simply cancels out, and pH becomes the pKa. And let's hit then. pH will be found by hitting negative log of 6.3 E negative 5. And we're finding a value of 4.20 pH units. Taking a strong base with a weak acid, do the stoichiometry first, followed by the Henderson-Hasselbeck, really is nothing more than a buffering problem from the previous section. Strong acid, weak, a uh, strong, sorry, I'll start that over. Strong base, weak acid. Stoichiometry first, followed by the Henderson-Hasselbeck.